Peace family, it's your brother Mark Lamar Hill. I'm back again trying to figure out this uh, YouTube lag. We had a brother from Gaza who wanted to reach out and talk to me, uh, who wanted to have a conversation about what's going on in Gaza. So um, I wanted to make sure we, we had the time to build Hi, and talk. Uh, so. uh, let me introduce myself that uh, I'm Karim from Gaza, uh, but I live in Turkey. Uh, just let me clean my camera, sorry. Yeah. Uh, I'm Karim Abu Samra from Gaza. I live in Turkey. I'm working as a photographer, and my whole fa my whole family live in Gaza. Mm. So uh, I'm really appreciate what you're doing, is supporting Palestine and supporting uh, the, the the truth, which is so nice and kind of you. Uh, yeah, and also I want to explain that. Um, I start a fundraising campaign also to evacuate my family, like many Palestinian family in Gaza, because you know there is a huge money to pay for getting people outside of Gaza, and I don't want to explain many things because it's political and I don't want to go through this. So normally I start a fundraising campaign to evacuate my family. I have eight members of my family in Gaza. They're staying in. Where are they? In South. Where, 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 where's your family from in Gaza? Yeah, they are right now in Rafah, uh, in tent uh, in south of Gaza. Uh, and where, you know, where, where were they before before October seventh? What's the, where are they from? What area of, of Gaza? They was in Khan Yunis, uh, and uh, we live in Khan Yunis, and we have our home, we have our business, we have our life, and it's normal life. My father is teacher, phys physics teacher. Uh, before that time, we have uh, like a normal normal life and middle income and we will never expect that will happen to us that we were looking for fund for uh, like a donation right. uh, but uh, when when like you need a huge amount to get people from there which is something that i can't approve it uh so that's why i start this uh, fundraising campaign or even this is not uh, even we lost our homes uh, and this is not the first time in 2014 also our homes get destroyed yeah and we rebuilt it again and actually before of for, uh, 2014 before a few days of the war was we building our house and just we staying in that just a few few days and the war has happened in 2014 and then uh, they get completely destroyed and uh, we rebuild it again, and right now we have to rebuild it again after this war. Uh, but I decided to take my family out of there because uh, I don't have another solution. Because the next few days will getting worse and worse because the winter is coming. You know, Gaza, there is no construction there. Normally, in the winter, and the people are staying in their homes, the, and Israel pushing water on, uh, on the people there. The, uh, uh, the homes is getting uh, swimming in the water and many people get ki get killed before this, because this. Um, yeah, every year in the winter, many of homes getting destroyed because of the water. And uh, and can you imagine... When, when you say the homes are getting destroyed because of the water, what do you mean? I mean, it's like in the winter, a lot of uh, uh, raining comes and many homes it's there is no construction to save this homes of, of the water even yeah. israel pushing water and on the people and they didn't allow to water to to go to the last destination like to the to the sea so there is also there is no construction there to like this construction is very old and that's why that some of people some of homes get destroyed because the, because the and this, you know the street was is this, is this flooding yeah. Uh, uh, so I think next few few days it will be or next few weeks it will be hard time for the people in Gaza because the wind like the it will start in raining more, uh, and all the people staying in tent and it's very cold there and this these days uh, most of the people are are sick there you know they are very sick really because. It's cold, and before two, two days ago, there is a children was die because cold because the winter is the the uh, winter is cold. I'm sorry for my English is not that much it's good, great. but I'm trying my best. It's, it's great. It's perfect. <laughs> Thank you so much. So. Uh, you need to learn to speak something. The issue in the Arabic is not a problem. You can translate it. You can translate it. Okay, ممتاز ممتاز. تفضل. بس كمل كمل. Okay. Uh, uh, so what I'm trying to do is 
saving my family. It's nothing else. Just I want to take them to the safer place. And you know, and um, uh, because you know, the winter there is so bad. So this is something that I have to do for my family. So if anyone would like to donate or sharing the story, everything in my account and the link in my bio, you can check everything. I write all the story there. And I had yesterday uh, a big uh, live here just explaining everything for the people. Uh, okay, حكي بالعربي. ممكن ممكن تحكي بالانجليزي بس ممكن ممكن تكتب اللينك يعني في في التعليقات. اه اكتب اللينك في التعليقات. ايوه وممكن اعمل ممكن ممكن اعمل بوست. يا يعني لو راحوا على حسابي حسابي موجود لو طلعتوا فوق حتشوفوا حسابي فوق هيك فوتوا في في حسابك ايوه بس كمان في في التعليقات هون يعني ايوه في التعليقات كمان ممكن اعمل بين وكل كل جمهور بقدروا بقدروا يقراوا كل شيء. اوكي okay, just moment I will I will go I think he's stuck. Okay, I'm here. Okay, but stuck a bit with the link. No, no problem. أنا بدو عليه هلا. Yeah, it's up there. Just pin. كتبتو؟ آه كتبتو لو. وين 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 أنا بدو عليه. ها. هاي كتبتو تاني. شكرا دي اوف سي ام ميسن ات يا اوكي اي رايت ات ماني تايم اجين جاست تشيك ات اجين اوكي ات مايت ات مايت اي يا اكس ام ات نوت شوين اب فور مي بوت ام جو داون يو كان فايند ات داون اجين اي رايت ات ماني تايم اوكي وي فايند ات وي فايند ات Um, and I'll post it, you know, um, just for the benefit of our audience, um, many of the people in this audience don't know uh, a lot about the, the, the sort of um, the region. Um, so Khan Yunus, is your family originally from Khan Yunus or did they come there after 48? No, they, uh, we are originally from Gaza and my like my grand grand grandfather were living in, in there. And even the people, like my family, live, they're living together in the same area. There is no one from different uh, uh, family in, in the area where, I'm, where my, my family living. So, yeah, and even when they evacuate to somewhere else, they staying together in the same place because they know each other and they doing some, something like tent behind each other. Uh, yeah, so we are from Gaza originally. And, and when... After October 7th, I guess really on October 8th, um, Israel began its, its bombing, uh, its yeah. bombardment of Gaza. What, what, did, what did your family see? You were in Turkey, right? Yeah. What did your family in Gaza uh, see? Uh, uh, excuse me again. What, what happened? Um, okay. What uh, happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? I will explain everything. Uh, we are close to like the red line between Palestine and, and, and Israel. Mm. So uh, everywhere we have to you know, like display it in the first day of the war because we are close to there. So we have to be careful early. So uh, my family was going to somewhere to my sister home. It's a little bit far away from uh, uh, the border or, or the red line between Palestine and Israel. Uh, so after that, they, they displayed to another place to the school to, in Khan Yunis. Yeah. Uh, and after that, they staying for one month there in the school. And after that, they asking people to if it, like to uh, display to another to Rafah. And then they went to Rafah to stay in tent. And this is last destination for them that staying in tent. And they just doing everything for surviving, like they doing toilets. And they close it just for use it to use it there and uh, having uh, like a normal stand. Really, every day it's hard to find the stuff for living and even expensive. Like I'm working, at, I'm here and my brother here in Turkey. We we also working here, so we send them all, all our income just for keeping them in and say because everything is getting expensive. So if you would like to buy one kilo of onion, it it's about four five dollars. It's just one kilo. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and you know, I just 
before uh, before uh, like if you like before one month ago uh, I just buy for them a blanket I ask some of my friends to to bring them blanket uh, every blanket it costs more than sixty dollars which is very it's not that much heavy like it's just, like it's very no, no blanket should cost sixty dollars yeah. that's uh, explo exploitation yeah exactly so because the, and also the people the uh, exchanging the stuff together like someone who who have uh, tuna for example and he can change it with the bread for example so the the people the people trying to to do whatever they can just for living uh and, and, and who's, selling, who's selling who's selling this stuff for example if there is someone who's selling normally he have a shop for selling that so he just trying to take more money in this situation yeah. Uh, he's yeah. not paying more. I mean, he he ha he doesn't have to do it. It's 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 the glal. It's the glal. Yeah. فش حدا يحسبهم لأنه ما في حكومة ما في بوليس ما في. صح. Ah. So yeah. So. He's just saying there's no there's no there's no government there's no police there's no order and so people are kind of just doing whatever they want. Yeah. But not the not all the people are doing a bad stuff like that. Of course, people, yeah. Like you can find the the evil and you can find the good doing. So sometime you can find people just helping each other. Like I have a, I have a, uh, explained that that I have a friend. Uh, I call him just to find a bottle of uh, a bottle, but it's not it's empty. Just for getting to my father that he can send it somewhere to put gas in it. And he told me, okay. Keep it on me, and he find them a big bottle of gas, and he send it. He bring it to my father there, and the people was clapping for that. For my father, congratulations! You have a gas right now. You know, it's something like like the normal, the basic things of things of life. It's getting a, a very high uh, fancy yeah. for them. Yeah. You know, and even my friend, he didn't want to take money for this. Uh, it just because he he know me and he know my family good and he's like a close friend and he doing well with with my family, so yeah. And and can you, could could you say a little bit about um, if you don't mind if you if you're comfortable could you say just a little bit about um, about um, the like the violence there like what what kind of um, um, what, what, what is your family seeing? What are your friends seeing in terms of in terms of violence every day? I'm seeing more and more people die. Um, yeah, violence, possession, and um, violence. Is any violence? I don't. I mean, I mean. Ah, okay. There are a lot of people, and especially in Qasif, right? You know, when they, they are, really they are getting tired of hearing bombing all the time. I have sister. She have a, uh, they, she have a three children. Um, you know, every day she have to do a lot of things just to keep them sleep and like warm. And uh, before that, you know, they know the time where is when when they bombing. So every day, and after in the middle of the night, like nine o'clock, one o'clock, they know that at that time there is a lot of bombing around them. So you know, you know how the people get get feeling that they are safe that because there is onorwa united nation that behind of them yeah. that they know that they gonna they will not bombing them so the people they trying to go around them just to to feel safe that they will not bombing them and even this this organization is, is hell you know they didn't help the people as as they they, they should best, do best, they just best, like, best, 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 giga, best giga, uh um bidi fasl the jumhuri and the unruwa for those who don't know is the un relief uh works agency it's it's the primary mechanism um for uh refugees um that has that has occurred really since 1948 when palestinians went into um a kind of permanent state of refugee status um and unruwa facilities uh are supposed to be protected and safe but there's a lot of complexity around that and a few years ago, uh, Donald Trump withdrew all fund, U.S. funding from UNRWA. So there's a lot of, you know, UNRWA is still struggling. UNRWA is how people get hospitals. It's UNRWA is how people get schools. UNRWA is kind of the lifeblood 
الوكاله كل شيء في الـ في الـ في, الـ في الضفه وفي غزه اي نو كل المنطقه للفلسطينيين الا داخل 48 صح يا يو نو دي جاست هيلبينج اسرائيل ان ايفريثينج يو نو ايفن وين دي just giving food for the people they giving the expired food for them even they have uh, in their storage a lot of things to give it for the people but they have a lot of construction just for go because they think that they didn't want to give uh, tourists as they call it uh, the food yeah. so they trying to check on every names to give them what they need you know and it's it's so bad that people they, they can't wait all this process for their process to give the people food and uh, and the stuff and yeah, for example thank thankfully that my family they are in good situation and they have some like we working for them just to keep to surviving and buying this expensive stuff but many people they didn't have money because they didn't work they are just living in somewhere in like a hell and he surviving to get this and some people they stealing the stuff from the tracks who going to you know uh, uh, storage uh but you can't oh. say that that not right because the people they want to leave they want to eat you know when you when someone yeah. here about like people in gaza they have they are they have a very big families like at least the uh, the smallest family there it's 10 people this is the smallest family there so uh, uh when they have all these children they need they need to have food and it anyway so yeah. um yeah and something that i would like to mention for the people who who watching us here uh don't tired of calling ceasefire because the people there if you've tired of that people there be suffering for everything it's food water and even they they get killed you did you think do you think like like for someone he's staying about 105 days and after that he get killed he feel he's suffering for living all these days and then he, he get killed mm-hmm. um so uh don't tired of of calling that keep going. you have to keep going keep, keep going keep, yeah mm-hmm. keep calling for a ceasefire exactly keep calling for a ceasefire yeah. um there are a lot of people who will say that israel is not uh, the in the media they say Israel well, Israel's not the problem. Mm. Hamas is the problem. Uh, if Hamas just stops, if they just surrender, Israel will stop tomorrow. Okay, what, Hamas. What, what, I just want to explain something. Hamas is not stalling bodies. Hamas is not stalling uh, children. Hamas is not stalling. Uh, also, Hamas is not uh, uh, taking uh, 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 like uh, from the bodies, the people who did get their stuff from their bodies, and what Israel doing that? It's it's really genocide. So if you just like saying October seven, it's not October seven. We we suffering. It's before uh, like many years ago, seventy five years. We just having this problem, you know. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm thirty thirty three years old, and twenty seven years of my life I stayed in Gaza. Right. and every few years we have to have the war and you know uh and the people there they didn't have a hope for doing anything just they just leaving and and having food and and, and just leaving you know yeah. before before i'm leaving gaza i will i will never get feeling like uh, i am afraid of what happening there because this is our life a normal life but after leave, traveling and see the world and having different culture and get back again to gaza and by the way I, every year every time i'm visiting gaza i had the war there and this is this time i was planning to go uh, in 20 25 of october but the the, har, the war happened in in, uh, tw- in 7 of october so yeah so after getting back to gaza and last war it's uh, uh, after ramadan um you know i feel a fear because i have life to live for it but their people they, they didn't care if, if they dying the severing just do you wanna make their country free and then they live in their life but normally the people there they really don't care about their lives well i'm gonna ask you one more question uh, i'll let you go and everybody please make sure you, you go to his gofundme link and support uh Karim. thank you um sir. yesterday uh netanyahu yeah said that, that there won't be um a palestinian state in the future 
that he doesn't support that anymore. Like to stay in Gaza? لا 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 ما راح ما راح يكون في دولة فلسطينية في المستقبل حتى بعد الحرب حتى بعد الوقف وقف ال كل شيء بعد كل شيء ما راح يكون في دولة دولة فلسطينية عشان الأمن وعشان حماس وحزب الله وكل ال هيك يعني. This is in his dream. This is in his dream. You know. Because Palestinians will never give up of, of fighting for their lands. Uh, and what he planning to do, it will... Actually, he didn't know what he's doing right now. And he didn't know what, what will happen next. Actually, he's just fighting for keeping staying in, as, as a prison there. But after, after all this shit will gone, he will go to the prison. And he know that. So we didn't care what he's saying. Just he's saying, he just just uh, like a dog clapping and nothing nothing important that he's saying so he will uh, yeah he just talking and this is, will never happen because you know right now as you see uh, as you say like uh, what what south africa doing right now it's it's a great thing just yes to do. Uh, yes 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 shout out to south africa yeah. yes 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 it's uh, very see, there's inspiration in there yeah and yeah. i think and also, don't forget that all the people around the world, they opening their eyes on Gaza and Palestine. And most of the people are like, let's, let's say about religion people, like as a, as a uh, Christian and Muslims and even Jewish, they also know is Palestine is center of the world because all the religions come from there. Yes. And all the people are, are seeing what, what Palestinians are, are their fad. On, on everything that they're just be calling God for everything. Yes. Uh, so I think right now the people opening their eyes, I, and I think the next generation of uh, people, they will never fighting for this uh, killer uh, leaders. So uh, I think the next generation will make a big difference. And yeah. are, are people are people are people in Gaza looking for um, new leadership? Are they looking for elections? Uh, what 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 will the future um, government look like in 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 Gaza, in the West Bank, or in you know in 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 all of Palestine? What do you what do you want it to look like? Um, actually, actually, we have a problem in our house, like as a Palestinian. <laughs> And I didn't support any any of, of them. Like as a Palestinians, I'm, I'm supporting uh, the peace and I'm supporting to have our country. In, 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 uh, and I don't want any of them just to fighting for being as a um, president or Masoud. Yeah. Uh, uh, like even even Hamas doing something good, or and even Fatah doing something good. Both of them, they're doing something bad to be like front each other, you know. Yeah. Uh, but what I'm hoping that uh, the they have to start a new election and start asking people. You know, I am I'm 33 years old. I never voted in my life. You know, I never voted. That's important. That's important to know, everybody. The last elections in Gaza were uh in 2006 right or the end of 2005 yeah, exactly. yeah 2006 yeah so you were talking about 17 18 years ago now yeah. half of half of gaza is, is is young half of gaza is younger than 18 years old that means that most people in gaza didn't get yeah. to vote exactly and something else that like the people in gaza is very educated most of them they finish their master degrees and they're working in very good field around the world. Even, you know, all the Gulf countries uh, working online with people in Gaza. And uh, most of them, they have a good positions. Um, so uh, so I think the next, also the, after this war is finished, so there is people, they have a good mind of, to, to, to start building our country, like as a Palestinians. So I think it will it will work well next. Also, they have got um, educated to to fight for for that. Yeah, yeah, that's beautiful, my brother. Well, uh, Karim, I want to 
Thank you for spending some time with us and for Thank sharing you. your story. So much. Thank you so You're much for sending my love to you and your family. That's so. Uh, um, we'll donate and we'll support your GoFundMe, and uh, hopefully the next time I see you, it will be uh, in a free Palestine. Inshallah, we will go to Palestine together and visiting all the around there. Inshallah. Habibi. Habibi. Shukran, shukran to you. For the family, that was um, a surprising unexpected conversation with a, a, a wonderful wonderful brother it appears uh, who's in Turkey and is simply trying to get his uh, his family his family home you know his family to safety um, they 1.7 million out of the 2.2 million people who live in in Gaza are um, are homeless they're unhoused right now so the story you heard about Karim, whose family was in Khan Yunus, and now they're in Rafah, in tents, and there's flooding in the tents. Um, um, it's not an uncommon story. In fact, it's the most common story. Um, and so we have to support this. The first thing we have to do is fight for a ceasefire. We have to hold our politicians accountable. We have to um, put a, keep a spotlight on this, because right now the the, the national media in the United States, the corporate media in the United States wants you to forget that this is even happening. They want you to normalize the fact that maybe 22 people died last night um, in Palestine, maybe more. Um, there's the, the, the Palestinian Authority saying that night raids and, 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 and that a massacre actually occurred sometime this week, potentially last night, during the blackouts. I don't know the answer to that, but even outside of that, we saw more than 15 people killed last night. And we've seen more than 22,000, 24,000, excuse me, people killed already, 61,000 people injured, 10,000 children killed. That's 1% of the child population of Gaza is being killed. This is, this is the reality. This is what we're struggling with. This is what we have to, to fight. Um, Kareem is doing extraordinary efforts to, to keep his family safe, but he shouldn't have to. The United States is the engine that powers this regime, that powers this awful, awful circumstance. Um, and so we as Americans, we're not just being generous. We're not just being nice. We have moral and ethical responsibility to fight this.